Hey guys. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Young Jacob, senior technician at Alexander PCs, and this is how we'd like you to open up your computer. So first you want to start off cutting the edges of the box instead of going straight across the top because you don't want to cut the top of your computer. And then you'll find a bag of information of your hardware, a t-shirt that we provide for you, and all your paperwork, including a thank you letter, your spec sheet, a Windows key, and a quality checklist, and your power cord. So we start off by taking out the sides of cardboard that we put in the box. And then you'll have these tabs on the box that you'll want to come in and push out. And it'll make it easier to remove the actual PC from the box. You pull the tabs over, pick it up by the bottom, and gently put it on its side. And then just pull the box up. Now that you have it on the table, you're going to want to find the bottom of your case, which in this instance, it says bottom on the phone. Other times we'll write a big B in Sharpie, so you'll know. You'll find the bubble wrap that just flew off. You wanna pull the plastic over the feet of your computer. Put it down gently. Take off the other phone, remove the bubble wrap. And then you can easily just take off the plastic with all the bubble wrap and the foam at the back. So now that you got the front glass off and the computer on its back, you want to remove all the foam inside. We'll start with the big inflating foam. We'll pull it nice and gently. We always try to put it on top of the graphics card and wrap it around in front of the case to also block it from the front. So if it gets a little snug, just take your time and don't rush it. And there's usually pillows around and the foam underneath the graphics card you want to remove. After you got everything removed, you want to make sure any connections are still where they're supposed to be in the bottom of the motherboard and the top of the motherboard. Now that you got your foam out, you can put your front glass back on, screw it back down, and you can connect it to a monitor. When plugging your computer into a monitor, it is important to make sure that you plug it into the graphics card and not into the motherboard. All motherboards come with a HDMI port, but in order to use your graphics card, you wanna take your plug, plug it right into the first HDMI port, or if you have display ports, you can also put them down here as well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video and you were able to get everything out of the box with ease. Uh, we hope you enjoy your system as well. With all the extra foam, we'd like you to hold on to it and just keep it in your box. Everything should fit. And we can put that in the closet or covered somewhere. On uh, the next video, we're gonna be covering the software that we download. You can use the RGB like Corsair, IQ, um, Armin Crate, how to control all those and how to control your lights. Thanks for watching.